yeah today was kind of chaotic and all over the place but it was like fun chaotic not like stressful chaotic but fun chaotic i already took a nap well, wait, i stepped on a loose second i almost fell then we have some crayola pens i didn't know crayola made pens i don't know what the heck i'm doing for guided reading <laughs> Good morning, it's Monday and I just got to school. I wanted to get here earlier than I did, but um, I couldn't find my keys this morning and they were in my car. So I'm just gonna make a few coffees for centers and morning work and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I said I was gonna make coffees and I can't. Our printer is all out of black toner, I believe. So it should be getting here today sometime today but that's gonna throw my whole morning off and not just mine but just like a lot of other teachers morning off because a lot of us make copies in the morning and thankfully i do have my phonics copies done for the week as well as my guided reading i think that's what i have right yeah that's what i have um so i could do centers first and then phonics and then morning work I don't know and you know and that's assuming that we get our toner some in the morning because if we don't then I don't have my math copies ready or my homework copies either <laughs> it'll be okay but my Monday has definitely been off to a weird start not finding my keys the printer being out of toner Okay, so it is after school. I've made tons of copies. So apparently if you take out the toner from the printer and you put it back in, sometimes it lets you print a little bit more. So we did that and I was able to make my morning copies. So the day wasn't too different. I did switch my centers for my phonics time and I actually liked it a lot better. So I might do that tomorrow too. Um, that gave me enough time for my phonics. The time for centers was perfect. So I think I'm gonna try that tomorrow. Like I said, I made copies right now. I'm I'm getting ready for parent-teacher conferences. They are coming up. I'm starting them on Friday. Last year, I didn't do parent-teacher conferences until we came back from a fall break. So I had all fall break to finish report cards. And from what I understand, I don't have to have report cards ready for parent-teacher conferences, but I can if I want to. So that means I have to um, finish my grading and input my grades by Wednesday because um, our secretary will be out Thursday, Friday. So uh, she's the one that prints out the report cards. So I have to have them ready. Last year, the way I prepped for conferences is by having like a conference folder. Um, in that folder, I included, let me see if I have a blank one. Here. I included a uh, student self-evaluation surveys. So I have this one and then it just includes, I follow teacher's directions. I listen when others are speaking. I get my work done when I'm supposed to. I try my best on all my work. I am always a good friend to other students. I am responsible and my teacher and classmates can count on me. So that's the first one. The next one looks like this. And this is how I feel about blank. So the, how I feel about morning meeting, how I feel about centers, how I feel about phonics, story time, writing, math, and domain one, which is our social studies slash science thing that goes with CKLA and PE. I'm not the one that's helping students fill these out. It's my aide, so I'll just go through them later. Also, last year I did outfits of the week. Would you still want to see those? Let me know in the comments below um, if you still want to see outfits of the week. I know someone over the summer DM me on Instagram asking if I could do like a back to school clothing haul, but honestly, I didn't buy a lot of clothes over the summer and I'm not the kind of person to buy a ton of clothes just for work. And I'll just buy things here and there whenever I see something that I like and something that is a reasonable price. I will not be doing like teacher clothing hauls, but I can definitely do um, outfits of the week if you're interested in that. So I'm going to clean a few things up and then I'm going to probably head home because I'm tired and I'm hungry. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I'm home now. I did go to Walmart and I picked up a few things. Most of them are pretty boring things like manila folders. I use for my parent teacher conferences. I like to have a folder for each student and just a bunch of like papers in there and that just keeps me organized. I bought binder rings, binder clips, like stickers because it's someone's birthday tomorrow. So I'm gonna put that in their little goodie bag, but I also bought these. So I bought two of these because I wanna use these for my right through room center. These were in the party section. They were 97 cents each. And last year, if you remember, for my right through room center, I had like little nerd glasses that I got from Target. And I can't find them anywhere. I'm pretty sure they're somewhere in the garage 
or if not they're probably somewhere in my classroom but I couldn't find them so I couldn't I couldn't find them and I wanted to buy new ones but I couldn't find them at Target either so I just bought these which are really fun and hopefully that incentivizes students to work in that center because that is probably like my least popular center but maybe not when I introduce these what a day it is 5 36 p.m. Tuesday afternoon and I'm just getting home. I did get to school like 7.20 ish. I was just working the entire time I was in school since uh, dismissal. Um, I met with a special ed teacher just because I wanted some guidance on something and then I also met with the reading specialist because I also wanted some guidance on something. If I turn the light, is it better? So last night I had this like epiphany. I was laying in bed, exhausted. I don't know why I was so tired yesterday. Uh, but I realized, like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing for guided reading. I thought I did until it hit me. Like, what I'm doing, I feel like it's not the most I could be doing and it's not the most beneficial for my students in that time. So I figured I would go to the reading specialist and ask for some guidance on that. And I got so many great ideas from her that I'm going to try to implement either sometime this week or the following week. I did go ahead and prep most of the materials. I printed Dolce. Uh, sight word lists. I printed sound boxes, analogy boxes, and I also want to track my students' progress with sight words. So I made graphs for those. I'm going to put them in folders. I put four of them in folders, and then I'm going to have my aide do the rest tomorrow. I just wanted to have four ready for tomorrow so that I could try them out. I think I feel a lot better now. I'm very tired. Um, tomorrow we have meetings, but I am going to stay until like 5 30 tomorrow or at least i'm gonna try to or maybe not it's just hard of balancing it all um but i have to get ready for parent teacher conferences maybe i'll just get ready those five four conferences that i have on friday and then prep the rest of the weekend maybe that works one of you asked me on my scheduling parent teacher conferences video what i talk about in conferences last year in kindergarten i had a report card to show parents and we go over it um, standard by standard because we were a standard based report card and then i also had some work samples i had writing samples and stuff like that then i also included student self-evaluation surveys i don't know if i showed them to you yesterday or not but i will have a link down below it's a freebie on tpt that i loved using last year and i will be using this year as well um, so that was kindergarten. Kindergarten, I think I also sent out a parent survey. I don't remember what it said and I can't find it anywhere. It basically asked some questions like, what do you think your, your students' strengths are? What they can grow in? Um, any concerns or anything like that? And that helped me guide my discussion in my conference, but I can't find it this year. And I feel like it's too late now <laughs> to send it out since, um, since conferences are on Friday. Good morning, it is Wednesday. Um, I have about five to 10 more minutes until my kids come and I am just getting ready for the day. Um, I bought a clicker so I can get through like slides fast, faster since I don't have a smart board but it needs like a weird battery that I don't have. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, never mind. I do have the battery. Um, it does have a pointer. I was just making these like ugly little notebooks that I'm gonna use for my guided reading. I'll talk a little bit more about it after school, but this is an idea that I got from the reading specialist, so um, they don't have to be pretty. We're just writing on them. So yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm getting my morning message ready. And then as of yesterday, we changed our morning song. We used to do Dr. Jean's, um, I don't even know what it's called, like welcome to school today, or I don't even know what it's called. We did that one just because it was easy and uh, and I thought it was a good song to do at the beginning of the school year. Now I want to do uh, Teaching and So Forth's morning song. So I taught it yesterday and we're going to start it today. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning. It is Thursday and oh my God, I stepped on a loose second and I almost fell. In one of my vlogs I mentioned that I keep going back and forth between covering my windows and uncovering them. I had them covered for about two weeks, but ugh, that paper just drives me crazy, and it looks kind of ugly, so I took them down, and now I can't really see the board, so, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to buy those, like, little mini tension rods from Walmart that are, like, three bucks each, and because we can't have fabric on our walls, I'm going to go ahead and, or I already did, I went ahead and cut up, like, plastic tablecloths that I use in my bulletin boards. And I'm going to try to put those as curtains and see how that works. I wanted to get the tension rods yesterday, but I had a really busy day yesterday. We had 
we had a meeting after school and then after that I went into town to go get Alex a birthday present, a cake and stuff like that because today is his birthday and I didn't end up getting home until like 7.40, 8ish and I still have to do, make dinner and do other things for work so I didn't really vlog because of that. I don't know how much vlogging I'll be doing today because it is his birthday so we are going out to eat so as soon as he gets out from work I'll leave here too. Tomorrow I start parent teacher conferences so I wish that I could stay a little bit longer but I will not because Alex's birthday is important but I did realize that I don't have my first conference scheduled until 3 o'clock tomorrow and we don't and we get out of school at 1 30 so I kind of have a little bit of time to just kind of prep a little bit more if I need to. I'm also playing with the idea of like how to arrange my room. I rearranged it a few weeks ago and I like it a lot better this way than I had it before, but I feel I still feel like I need more space to properly function. The kids are fine. They were in this classroom, like this same classroom last year. This was a kindergarten classroom last year, and then they built another classroom. Um, so the kids are used to being in this room, but I, I am not. And it it has definitely been tough trying to adjust to this size room. I feel like I'm always tripping over things or bumping into things or running out of space and I need to figure something out. I think taking all of that stuff out would definitely help. I have a ton. have one, two, three, four, five, six, six extra desks in my classroom that I probably I don't need. So that would free up a lot of space. So I'm going to try to see if I can get those out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my morning message ready and take out my morning work and yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is after school. I'm getting ready to leave. I changed my seating chart once again. Uh, I know that in the morning I mentioned that things didn't seem to be working. Changed it. I used to have five groups of four and now I have four groups of five. And I think it works. Let me show you. So I have one that way, two, three, four here. And they're all kind of facing the same way. I'm gonna straighten that one out. That one I, I don't know, maybe I'll straighten that. But it seems more open now. I think. Hopefully. I was trying to get some conference things ready, but I have to go now because Alex is getting out of work, so we're gonna go get dinner. Maybe I can get some work done at home, hopefully. I probably should. Hello, so it is Friday after school. I can't remember if I vlogged this morning. I probably didn't. Um, it was a crazy, crazy day. I've mentioned this already. I had three birthdays in a row. Started. They started on Tuesday. Um, today there was no birthday, but we did have library, we had computers, we had a fire drill, we had Zero the Hero, we had Fun Friday, um, prize box, token store. Token store is basically prize box. Yeah, today was kind of chaotic and all over the place, but it was like fun chaotic. Not like stressful chaotic, but fun chaotic. Today is also when I'm starting my conferences. I already had two conferences. My conferences were not supposed to start until three, um, but because there's an event going on after school, there's a lot of parents here and grandparents and stuff like that, so I just bumped them up about an hour. So I just have one more conference in about 20 minutes, and I'm done, and I can go home. I'm gonna go home. This weekend, I'm definitely prepping a ton for conferences next week, and I also have to have my sub plans ready for Friday because I will not be here on Friday. So I want to make sure I do that. Since I won't be able to do them after school, I have to do them this week. Hey guys, so I'm home now. I didn't stick around school much longer after my last conference. My last conference went pretty well. I was going to try and stay a little bit longer, but I don't know. I've been so tired lately that it's kind of hard to stay. I literally get home and I just can't do anything else. I brought all my work stuff with me so I could do things over the weekend, but honestly, I think I might have to go into school over the weekend so I can get work done because lately, whenever I say I'm gonna work at home, I don't. It's just so hard for me to like do work stuff at home now. I feel like once I get home, I turn my teacher brain off and then I cannot get, and I cannot turn it back on until I'm at school, so. Is anyone else like that? I did come home to a package. Kindergarten crate. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it right now just because I have it. Why not? This is the October one, and I did get a message from Kindergarten Crate saying that uh, it's selling out pretty fast, and because it is a t shirt box, they are gonna stop taking orders after a certain date. I'll put it right here because I cannot remember what date that is, just in case you are interested. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see. Mm -hmm. It's all like fall themed. Kindergarten Crate is a monthly subscription services for teachers. Cater to preschool teachers, kindergarten teachers, and first grade teachers. As of now, past when I taught kindergarten, I used to get the kindergarten box, and now I get the first grade box. So they're all different, just so you know. All right, so the first thing in the box is this cup cozy. This is like a little, 
I don't know, it's for your cup, right? Like if you drink something hot, like a coffee. <laughs> I personally do not drink coffee. I feel like this year I'm gonna have to start drinking coffee just because of how tired I am. But it is really, really cute. Ooh, Alex is gonna love this. Um, it is another bath bomb, and this one is pumpkin spice. Now that I know it's pumpkin spice, maybe it'll be for me because he doesn't like pumpkin flavored things, which I'm assuming he doesn't like pumpkin scented things, but I don't know. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fall but outside, it's still summer. It was like 98 degrees today. Next thing in the box are some can grams, and it's eight of them, and they're like foam ones too. Then we have some Crayola pens. I didn't know Crayola made pens. Um, they are the Take Note pens, and they are quick dry, washable gel pens. Next thing is something in this box. It's kind of heavy. It's a ton of mini erasers. Look how cute these are. But these are so cute. I'm excited to add these to, the, to my little eraser collection and it's a lot of them. and it's a lot of them they're from oriental trading then we have some wiki, wiki sticks single color what are these so it says wiki sticks stick to most smooth surfaces with just fingertip pressure can be easily peeled up and repositioned to make changes they are made of non-toxic wax and yarn maybe i can put these in one of my free exploration boxes um and have kids play with them i've never seen this before and the book for this month is Spot the Cat and the Pumpkin Picking Plan. I already have this book, but I have this thing in my classroom where if you fill out your reading log the way you're supposed to, so you have the required amount of entries per week, you get to put your name into a jar every single week if you have it filled out. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and at the end of the month, if you turn on your entire reading log, you are in for a drawing for some books. So right now I actually have you placed on one of the books and it's The Legend of Paper Rock Scissors. And I can put this one there too. Last month I put uh, the first Bad Guys book on there because they love my kids love the Bad Guys books. And then I also put an Elephant and Piggy book. This month I'm also gonna put an Elephant and Piggy book, this one and the Paper Rock Scissors ones. And that just adds a little bit more excitement to the classroom, so I enjoy doing that. And usually I just get the books with my Scholastic Points. And then the last thing in the box are some Tangram little templates. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video right there. I'm gonna go head out and go to one of my old student soccer games. And then after that, I'm just gonna come here and just chill because like I said, I'm pretty tired. I already took a nap. I'm really enjoying getting back into vlogging. I just kinda have to get used to um, people walking in on me while I vlog. I haven't announced it to the whole school that I vlog. Only like a handful of people know. But because my classroom is being used all the time, um, sometimes people walk in on me and it's kind of embarrassing like, like today I had my door closed and I was trying to vlog and then someone came in and was like oh sorry and I'm like uh, it's fine it's just I don't know it's just kind of embarrassing when you're like talking to a camera and someone walks in on you but anyway that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye